Pakistan, a country difficult to navigate, built by a bold and brave peoples. Since its inception in 1947, Pakistan has had various iterations, some more promising than others. Its geopolitical significance in the last 14 years has left the rest of the world curious about this paradoxical place, steered simultaneously by nefarious and hopeful forces. Tinder, not quite as complex and difficult to navigate as Pakistan, but it's a close second. Since its inception in 2012, I've had various matches, some more promising than others. Many have turned to this significant application to feel less alone, to find someone else out there in our vast and lonely cities. One woman, <clears throat> me, tries to navigate these uneven territories in no man's land. Pakistani lesbians aren't getting laid. Please, they're not even talking about sex. The only time gay people here talk about being gay is with other gays that they've known most of their lives. And in a locked room, drinking shitty wine and watching Bollywood films to drown out all the gay talk, which still can't be that gay. So when my Tinder date inevitably asked if anyone here knew about my situation, only a few. You know how it is. Or maybe she didn't know how it is. I'd been here long enough to know all the gays. Men, women, goats. Everyone knew everyone and everyone knew everything. So how had I not heard of her before? Where did she come from? Why was she here? More importantly, why had no one else gotten to her first? Suspicious. Was it worth the headache of the Taliban's clutches in her personal life? I mean, it depends how good the sex is. And there's only one way to find out. Hi, my name is Natasha Noman. I am the writer and performer of the one woman show No Man's Land, of which you just saw an excerpt. And I'm also a vapid narcissist. Hi, I'm Veda Kumarji Gouda, and I'm the director. And I also hope you enjoyed our little excerpt from our play. And I'm her enabler. You created a monster? <laughs> I know, I really did create a monster. <laughs> okay, so I recently got back from Pakistan where I was working as a journalist and I had some very bizarre and surreal experiences. So one of the first things I did when I got back was have lunch with Beda to tell her all about it. And then when I heard the story, I was like, this needs to be a play. And so No Man's Land was born. It's pretty cool. Do you want to tell them what it's about? Oh yeah, okay. So I went on this date, it's a Tinder date with a lesbian because I am a lesbian. In Pakistan. In Pakistan, yes. Uh, there were four lesbians in Pakistan on Tinder. Uh, three of them I think actually might have been men. One of them was attractive <laughs> um, and somehow agreed to go on a date with me. And uh, it's the story of a Tinder date in Karachi. It's pretty insane. No Man's Land presents a window into the daily life in Pakistan and the characters and the different situation show a side of the country that we really haven't seen before, which is why we need your help in taking the play to Edinburgh Fringe Festival. Please donate every single dollar or pound counts. It helps us get a step closer to the Fringe Festival. This is a story that ne Actually, no, this is a story that should probably never be told, but we want to tell it. And if you donate, you can win a date with Natasha. No, no, you can't.